Hey guys, I'm trying a new recipe today. I'm a recipe clipper. I know you guys probably are too. You're all the time saving them out of out of different things and you think I'm gonna fix that someday. Well this one is easy enchilada soup and it's from a Arkansas Living magazine from February 2020. I've, I've got some older than that. But I think I even bought this uh, this red enchilada sauce to make it with and still hadn't got it made. And here it is, 2022. So anyway, if y'all want to help me, we're going to we're gonna make this. I got to have, let me, got to have something. Always, always come on in here not ready. But anyway, it's easy enchilada soup. Now they're making it in a uh, crock pot, but I'm going to make mine in this, in this pot. First thing we're going to do, or the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to put ground beef in there. And then I'm going to turn it off and move it over to the uh, gas stove to fry it. And then we'll add our other ingredients. I'm going to save a... <laughs> it, it's, it's probably more than a pound here, so I'm going to save just a little of it to make a hamburger sometime or other for my husband when I need something quick. Because cause I think, I'm guessing, but I think that's about a pound. Got to get this meat juice off my fingers. Grab a towel. I washed them over at the sink. Got some warm water there. Need to, need to be over there washing dishes too. Let's see. And into that, we're going to add cumin seed. We're going to add a teaspoon of that, ground up cumin seed. And, and it, it wants a 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce. And I, my can's too big, so I may make, just use about half of that. And then I'm going to transfer it over to the stove and cook it. They put it all together in the crock pot, but that's just, I'm not going to use the crock pot. I'm going to pour about half of that in there. I'm going to guess. This can to make a, make a cute little pin cushion like I showed you the other day. I'll put that away in a minute. Now, I'm going to stop you and move this over to the stove and fry it, and then we'll come back. <laughs> I'm back again, and I did put my meat over on the stove, but I think I've come back with a change of plan. I think I may go ahead and use my crock pot after all and cook it in the crock pot for four hours like it says. So I'm going to grab my meat, put it back in here, and the other, other ingredients... Set it behind me and plug it up and remember to turn it on. Be back. Alright, this is my meat, my cumin seed. And, and a uh, 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce. I wish I had fried that meat first. I wish I had kind of changed up the recipe, but then the recipe said put it in there. I don't want that. It got a little hot. I don't want it to crack my my pot because it's kind of cold still. All right. Here we go again. Come along with me and watch me be silly. Now you know why I call myself the silly old woman. Alright, let's add our other ingredients. Uh, one can of refried beans. Will you looky there what I see? Y'all know where that came from? Them Henri sisters of mine, there's my, there's my can opener. Them Henri sisters of mine left that on my porch to scare me one day. It didn't scare me because it was kind of wild colored. If it had been a black or a brown, it might have 
kind of made me, frighten me a little bit. All right, can of refried beans. And two cups of salsa. So I've got my homemade salsa here. Let me get me a spoon. I kind of, I, with home canned stuff, I like to try to make sure it's, it's okay. It's just something I've done since I was a kid. Mama would always say, smell of it and, and, and try it first. Nothing wrong with that. So that's a, a pint, two cups, so we're going to add that. Next, we'll add two cups of chicken broth. And I brought home canned chicken broth. Let's open it up. Let's smell of it. Give it a little taste before I put it in my, in my whole pot. And it wants uh, two cups. So I'm just going to pour half of this quart. That's about half of that quart of chicken broth. What else? I want a can of whole corn. And this, I keep store bought corn on hand too. Because my, my, I could use my own corn. I really could because I have it down there. Down in my big pantry. And they want it drained, so I'm just going to drain that drain that water into there. Okay, can of corn. What else? Refried beans, salsa, chicken broth, corn, and cornmeal. It's, you know, it looks good already. They want a half a cup, a fourth of a cup of cornmeal. And this is, this is not cornmeal mix. This is just the regular cornmeal. A fourth of a cup. All right. A fourth of a cup of cornmeal, not cornmeal mix. Now, got that all stirred up. And you see, looks <laughs> looks pretty good. Time we get that cooked and serve it with some cheese and tortilla chips. That'll be good. I'm gonna I'm gonna make me a place back here to set it and turn it on. Move the cows out of the way. Let's see. And y'all watch me. Y'all watch me because I'm going to remember to turn it on high. In about four hours, we'll have some lunch. And I'll call you when it's ready and y'all be ready to come and eat with me. It's lunchtime around here, and that easy enchilada soup that I kept this recipe for a long time and not tried it, well, I've got it made here in the crock pot after I had some issues with it at first. So we're going to try it. We're going to see if it's a keeper. It's hot and bubbly, and it's, it's a thick soup. That's the consistency of it. Let's put, let's put a little sour cream and a little bit of shredded cheese. I'm going to have some tortilla chips on the side. It's hot. I won't get all the... It's got a blow on it. If it's not any good, I'm not sure what I'm going to feed my husband for lunch.
That's pretty good. I, I'm pretty sure he'll eat that. I think I'm going to call him to come and eat. I think he's ready to eat. He's been working hard today. He's always ready for his meal. And this has got meat and refried beans and what all else? Corn. So it's a hearty soup. I think he'll like it. I do. I said the recipe was put in, a, in an Arkansas Living little magazine. Easy enchilada soup. And it was recipes and photos by Julie Anna Goodwin. So it's a keeper. 